Herman Prime is finally here in Rise of Kingdoms. So today I'm going to go over everything that you need to know, and especially some of the most commonly asked questions. So that way you guys can decide if you should invest in him or not. But first what's going on guys. Cheers. Okay. Let's get three things out of the way. The first being that in this video, I'm going to be talking mainly about open fields, PVP. How good is Herman Prime in big open field fights? We're not going to be talking about his effectiveness in potential rallies. That will be a topic for another video. If you want to get my early thoughts on his effectiveness in rallies, you can check out the early results for Ashurbanipal on my channel. I discuss why he seems to be performing really well there, but that's all speculation because Ashurbanipal is not in the game yet. The second thing I want to get out of the way are his talent builds. I think this build makes the most sense for generic open field PVP. You could also do something like this if you wanted maximum rage regeneration at the cost of whistling arrows. In this build, you're probably going to be over raging quite a bit, but if you don't want to take any risks with your rage engine this would be probably the way to go or you could do something like this and completely get rid of emergency protection which is a great talent but it also costs what 11 talent points to get there and a lot of these like elixir is pointless a couple of half a points of stats here so it's a very expensive talent to get so if you wanted to completely skip out on all that you could max out the archer tree and get the most amount of stats possible but in general i would say this is probably the best hybrid build and i want you to note here there's only two points in rejuvenate for this talent build okay and the third thing that i want to get out of the way is his best pairing and that is with juge leong i think that this doesn't even really need that much of an explanation juge leong before herman prime came into the game was considered the best archer commander for the open fields and that i think remains unchanged and we're going to talk about that later in the video but juge leong is doing a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to the open field performance of herman prime you would probably do juge leong as the primary commander here mainly because in open field fighting the skill tree is just very very good you can grab feral nature here yes you could overrage but the benefit of feral nature is that there's a chance that you pop your active skill before your enemy does which is really nice then you come up here obviously grab venomous sting that's super powerful you can grab razor sharp or you could put those points somewhere else in the archer tree but having clarity with tactical mastery and all for one just means that you're going to be putting out more skill damage with this pair having yuge leong as the primary than if you had Herman Prime as the primary. So that's why the skill tree works so well here. When we consider other pairings for Herman Prime, you can think about maybe Boudicca Prime. But the problem with this is that Herman Prime actually has bonus to AOE skill damage if you look on his third skill here. So this literally will not buff the skill damage for Boudicca Prime, unfortunately. So I don't love the synergy here between these two. And really, the best part about the Zhuge Liang uh, combination here is that he gives you so much Archer health which is really what Herman Prime needs. And we're going to talk about his stats in just a second. Other pairings that you could consider would be something like Isong Ye or like Nebu. These two pairings, I think are definitely subpar. Isong Ye just again, a little bit low on the stat side and doesn't really do much besides vanilla AOE skill damage, which is great, but it's not a top pairing. And Nebu is, he's good, but he's showing his age a little bit with his damage factor here. So at the end of the day, I feel like Zhuge Liang primary with Herman Prime secondary is like just far and above the best pairing it's almost not even close when it comes to what you would do with herman prime and the other thing too is if you're considering running more than one archer march you probably still would run this right and that's the big thing with archers right now is that like this is probably their best pair by a long shot you know if you look at something like infantry for example infantry has this thing where you would run cpo with liu che and that's the best pair but if you run more than one infantry you would split them up it's just not the case for archers i I think with archers you probably run juge leong with herman prime as your one archer march and then if you move on to two archer marches then you're looking into running something like Boudicca with ysg or Boudicca with nebu or something like that okay with those things out of the way let's move on to some of the most commonly asked questions about herman prime the first one being aren't his stats too low that's one of the big things that i see a lot of people talking about he only has 20 percent attack 20 percent defense and 15 percent march speed and when you take a look at somebody like Boudicca prime you see the 30 30 10 here and you say wow that seems like it's way better but the reality here is that yes Boudicca does have more attack 
but she has as an expense lower March speed which is such a problem for for Boudica Prime I think that this is like the speed in the open field of Boudica Prime with Zhuge Liang is criminal this pair moves so unbelievably slow that it is probably the biggest downside of this pair by a long shot okay the other thing too is the Archer defense here is only applicable under 80 percent and typically you would retreat your army on the under 50 percent so from 50 to 80 percent units remaining that's the only time that you're actually going to get the benefit of this archer defense and that's why it feels like Boudicca still melts so much even though it looks like she has a lot of stats she kind of doesn't so at the end of the day yes does Harman have fewer stats than Boudicca yes is he more squishy than Boudicca yes but what I will point you to and I think that this kind of dismantles the entire discussion about stats is Liu Che only has 20 percent defense and 20 percent attack literally the same amount of stats as Herman Prime and Liu Che is arguably like top three best commanders in the game right now Joan of Arc Prime has 20% attack, 10% march speed, and 10% health. So Herman Prime literally has more stats than Joan of Arc Prime, just open and shut case right there. And you can even look at commanders like Guan Yu, who only have 30% attack and 15% march speed, no other stats at all. Herman Prime literally has more stats than commanders like Guan Yu. So if you're going to look at Herman Prime from a purely stat perspective, I don't think you can draw any effective conclusions as to how good he can be in the open field. Some of the best commanders in the game have the same same or fewer stats than him and so really looking at just the second skill alone doesn't really give you too much of an idea as to how good he's going to be in the open field that's just the reality and like I said having five percent more March speed than Boudicca Prime is so important because again they just Boudicca with Yuge Liang is a great pair I used it during this KVK but it's so slow man and if you get caught in the open field it's GG it's over it's basically over the next question that I see a lot of people asking is okay well is he a better investment than Boudicca Prime and this is a pretty easy question to answer if you let's say hypothetically let's say you have Zhuge Liang and you've been using him with YSG just to sort of get you by until this new Herman Prime comes into the game right if you're trying to decide should you get Boudicca Prime or Herman Prime it is a slam dunk no question Herman Prime is a better investment than Boudicca Prime in 2024 that's just the reality while Boudicca Prime might have slightly more stats and she's a little bit tanky on that third skill with less skill damage taken Herman Prime's active skill is going to be outputting way more damage than Boudicca Prime like way 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 more damage if you're hitting at least two targets which his AoE is a half circle by the way so you're almost always going to be hitting at least two targets in a big open field fight you're going to be outputting significantly more damage with Herman Prime it's not even close especially because he has that bonus to AoE skill damage which you're gonna notice on Zhuge Liang as well he has a really solid debuff here he also has like I said more March speed and the biggest thing with Herman Prime is the poison stacks the fact that he spreads AOE poison and does not remove them like Tamiris makes him arguably one of if not the best support commander in the open field in Rise of Kingdoms right now I'm not kidding the AOE spread of his poison is unbelievably powerful and I think that alone even if you personally take slightly worse trades with your single archer march the rest of your armies are going to be performing better with Herman Prime than they would be with Boudicca Prime so if you have to pick between the two I think it's a very easy answer go with Herman Prime the next question then becomes okay should you get Herman Prime or should you get Zhuge Liang well I think that's a really great question I think right now at the time of recording this I think Zhuge Liang is a better overall complete package he's outputting more damage it's circular aoe his debuff is insane he has a double aoe cast with his fourth skill he has a chance to remove control effects he has a bonus to skill damage and archer attack a chance to get archer attack here as a complete package i think juge leong is a better commander than herman prime and then the question becomes okay well let's say you already have Boudicca prime and you already have juge leong should you still be getting Herman Prime and that is the big question for a lot of people myself included and what I would recommend is if you are low on sculptures like you have only a, a hundred 200 sculptures 
I would say hold off on Harmon Prime for now. The reason for that is because the truth is Boudicca Prime with Juge Liang performs really well in the open field. Yes, they're a little bit slow, but the reality is they still perform really, really well. And if you're only going to run a single Archer March, this March will still perform really great. Okay. So if you're low on sculptures and you already have Boudicca with Juge Liang, I would wait until the next commander release. I think the next commander release is going to be probably leadership. After that, it'll probably be cavalry. So either wait for leadership or wait all the way up until cavalry and just see what comes down the pipeline right if you're on the fence there's nothing wrong with waiting if you already have a great archer march like Budka with Juge Liang if the upcoming commander release cycles don't drop anything game changing if they're just solid then it might be worth considering replacing your Budka with Herman Prime and that is what I am going to do I only run one archer march and I want it to be the best possible archer march that I can run and that in my opinion is Juge Liang primary with Herman Prime secondary and I have the sculptures to take into expertise as soon as I want to. Now, I'm currently not fighting in any KVK, and I'm not going to have a KVK coming up for a couple of months. So I've got time to expertise him slowly, which is what I'm going to do. You can see that I've already brought him to 5551. We're going to talk about that in just a second. But what I will say is that the poison stacks on Herman Prime are probably going to keep him in the meta for a very long time time i think herman prime will be a meta open field meta commander longer than Boudicca prime has been and Boudicca prime has been meta for a very long time guys like over well over a year so i think herman prime will have the same longevity if not more longevity than Boudicca prime and that's strictly because of the aoe poison i can't state enough how powerful this poison is poison is so good that tamiris has been relatively relevant for the entire time she's been in the game and she came out she this was one of the first rounds of commanders that ever came to rise of kingdoms like four or five years ago so the fact that herman prime does it aoe and never removes it is just mind-blowingly good the next question people are asking is okay well do you pair him with tamiris and i think probably not okay probably not and in fact i think that tamiris removing the poison stacks from herman is basically counterintuitive to the the most beneficial thing that he's doing the most beneficial thing that herman does is spread aoe poison and never remove it that is like the when it comes to like what is the best thing he's doing that's number one 2000 damage factor aoe is number two like the the most important thing about him is this aoe poison spread and Tamiris removes that and I think that that even though there might be some other synergy here I think that is so detrimental to Herman Prime's effectiveness that I wouldn't do it I I just I'm not investing in Tamiris I don't think she's worth investing in right now and I don't think that this pairing is really going to be insane now if you're an archer main and you're running like multiple archer marches three or four archer marches in the open field first of all why second of all maybe you would run this pairing um but again I just the fact that she removes poison really really is like such a bullet in his kit it's it's not worth it now the next question you might be asking is okay well is herman prime a must-have commander i mean you're talking about how good his poison stacks are and his aoe is powerful and he's dealing more damage than Boudicca. is he a must-have commander and here's what i'll say if you're fighting in the open field for an open field murder ball whichever side of that murder ball has more herman primes i think has such a massive advantage in winning that exchange that as far as a kingdom goes he is a must have. I think the more, again, the more Herman Primes you have in the open field at any given time, the better every single other March is going to perform. Okay. One Herman Prime can poison three targets. So if you have 30 Herman Primes in the open field, that means 90 of your enemies' marches will be poisoned. And yes, his poison stacks over time slowly, but the more Hermans that you have, the faster it will stack. And so the more Hermans that you have, the quicker their entire enemy murder ball is going to be poisoned with 15 stacks. And again, if there's no Tamiris in sight, everyone's going to stay at 15 stacks of poison which means the entire murder ball is going to take 45 percent increased skill damage so herman prime's existence basically just buffed all the other skill damage commanders in the game which is basically all of them okay so from a kingdom perspective having a ton of herman primes is a must-have you need to do that on an individual level if you're only running one archer march and you've only invested in Juge Liang so far, Herman Prime is a must have. If you're running more than one Archer March, Herman Prime is a must have. The only players who might consider holding off on Herman Prime 
are those that have Boudicca Prime already with the Juge Leong and they're really low on sculptures and they want to see who the next like what the next release is right those are the only players that Herman Prime might not be an instant max must have commander okay for everyone else your entire kingdom will perform better if you get Herman Prime so that's what I'm doing the real question is is Herman Prime a must expertise commander and I think this is the truth about Herman Prime okay the truth is that his AoE is insane his poison stacks are insane the poison that he spreads on his sword skill is insane but do you need to expertise him to get the most value out of him and I think maybe not I think maybe not and that's why I've only brought on a 5551 for now because first of all you know I'm gonna I'm gonna spin his wheels as they come out so I'll be able to get him I'll probably expertise him slowly but here's the thing right the fourth skill how good is this fourth skill really okay if you have this fourth skill at one point you will take three percent less damage all damage from poison targets and we've already talked about how you know all targets will basically be poisoned in the open field after the first skill cycle as long as a lot of people are bringing Hermans which they will so just by unlocking this you're taking three percent less damage from all poison targets and you have a 10 percent chance to have a 50 damage factor three target fan shaped aoe okay now the damage factor here is pathetic if you bring this up to five it's still pretty weak okay 200 damage factor is basically nothing one of the best parts about the fourth skill is putting three more poison stacks out into the open field and you get that benefit whether this is at one or five it doesn't matter how many skill points you have in this the fact that you're spreading poison just by unlocking this skill is the most important part now if you bring this to five you go from three percent damage taken reduction to 15 percent damage taken reduction so 12 percent more you get four times more damage here but it's still only 200 damage factor really the question is you know is his expertise worth the sculptures to bring this skill to five and the truth is that his expertise is actually not as good as it sounds okay and here's here's the thing right people saw this expertise and they immediately thought of Joan of Arc Prime they thought Joan of Arc Prime has her double cast of her AoE and of her active skill on her fourth skill and that is super super powerful but the difference between Joan of Arc Prime and Herman Prime is that the first time Joan of Arc has an active skill cast she will double cast and that is so so important because it's only one skill cycle for you to get the benefit and then it's every other skill cycle because it's a 10 second cooldown but with Herman Prime you have to stack up to 25 before you get the double cast and based on how quickly or really I should say how slowly he's going to be applying those AoE poison stacks unless he's paired with Tamiris he's probably only going to get this once every three skill cycles so you're not going to get it on your first skill cast you're not going to get it on your second skill cast unless you get maybe really lucky with mandrake root most likely you'll be getting the benefit of this at your third skill cast and how often do you stick to a target in the open field for three consecutive skill casts it's not that often now I'm not saying that this is bad it's great to get the double cast of his active skill it's a very powerful active skill but the truth is that you're going to get this benefit very slowly and the frequency that you're going to get this benefit in the in reality like in actual open field fights is going to be pretty infrequent okay so I would say that he is definitely usable at 5551 and if your Boudicca Prime is also at 5551 then this is a easy shoehorn in just swap them out and you'll be good to go whether or not he is a must expertise commander I don't think we have the answer to that yet you do get some nice benefits from the expert expertise and the fourth skill by taking him to expertise but it's so expensive guys oh my god just getting this last skill to five costs 310 legendary commander sculptures so you have to ask yourself is it worth 310 legendary commander sculptures for a 12 percent increase in the damage taken reduction from poison targets a very small damage factor bump 150 damage factor bump and a chance to double cast your active skill once every three skill cycles on average if you've got the extra sculptures to burn then it'll def you'll definitely have a better performing Herman March but if you're balling on a budget okay do you need these two skills I don't think we really have a conclusive answer to that yet my suspicion is that 
he might not be a must expertise and i think it's safe to say you could leave him at 5551 see how he performs and if it turns out three months from now that you just need to get him expertise well you can spin his wheels slowly over time or you can pump sculptures in him later when you find out that the leadership cycle or the cavalry cycle has you know perhaps nothing as good right so the truth about herman prime is that he himself might perform worse than Boudicca prime in a 1v1 duel but that's not telling the complete picture because his aoe poison is going to make your other two three four marches perform so much better that his net positive over Boudicca prime is significant and i think that again whoever has more herman primes in the murder ball is much more likely to win that exchange his primary role is support his secondary role is aoe skill damage which is nothing to ignore i mean 2000 damage factor is significant and at the bottom of the barrel is he a dueling commander he's not a dueling commander at all and so 1v1 duels with herman prime are not going to tell you how effective he is and that's just the truth I think he is an extremely good commander. I think time will just go to show that people are going to be using Herman Prime in the open field a year from now because of his poison, unless we see something crazy happen in the meta. So I, for one, will be replacing my Boudicca Prime with Herman Prime. And I think that if you have the sculptures to do so, you probably should do that as well. If, of course, you already have Juge Leong, because as we mentioned earlier, that's really the only pair you can run with Herman Prime. He needs he needs the health from Juge Leong. It's just the truth. And the bonuses to skill damage like the synergy here is extremely good anyway guys with that being said if you enjoy the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video after all i am an associate creator for rise of kingdoms and comment down below your thoughts for herman prime what do you think about him do you think that he's good at 5551 do you think you have to expertise him do you think that you can skip him altogether what do you think let me know in the comment section below with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace